What's up, you player prop parlayers? How's that for some alliteration? How you doing? It is Andy, and I am taking on the house at No House Advantage, something that we've been doing all season. This is going to be our first crack at it during the playoffs. And if you're going to wait to playoffs to do it for the first time, I'll tell you about it the same way I told everybody about it during the season. No House Advantage, it's player props and fantasy in a really simple to use platform. They show you a player, they show you Igor Shesterkin over under saves you with one finger, click over or under, and if you get five right, you make 21 times your money. That's why you should come over to No House Advantage. Highest payouts on four player and five player parlays you will find, and I know you guys, you're betting four player parlays, five player, if they offer nine player parlays, you would take part in that. So definitely go over to No House Advantage. If you go there using the link in the description of this video and create a new account, they're gonna match your first deposit up to a hundred bucks. And uh, you'll put in a hundred, you'll get a hundred, and then you'll put it on some of these picks like Igor Shesterkin, who I just told you about. Now, if you watched my other NHL betting picks on the Odd Shopper channel that you should be subscribed to right here, right now, you know that I believe a young team in their first playoff game that most of them are going to be experiencing. I compared it to a, a teenager um, getting in bed for the first time, meaning they're really excited, which means they're going to be more likely to shoot pucks than they would if it's game 40 of the regular season. This was no different than what I implemented with Carolina last night, although Carol for a different reason. However, same type of thing applies in terms of the first home game. The first period, especially in the first home game, I'm always expecting that home team to come shot out of a cannon, which is why I'm actually taking two goalies for that reason on this slate uh, for no house advantage. The first one being Igor Shesterkin over 30 and a half saves. And I'm also going to take the over on Philip Grubauer for the Seattle Kraken, because if you saw how Colorado came shot out of a cannon last year. That game against the Blues, I have never seen ice tilted like that ever. Like It was crazy. And what was wild, it was like, I think tied in the third period. That game should have been nine to one, but they were peppering. And I mean peppering Bennington with shots. And I would imagine that this is similar to that game, just the way Colorado usually comes out for playoffs and the way they play on home ice during the playoffs. I know they weren't the best at home this year, but this is the healthiest Colorado has been in a long time. I understand there's no land guy. I think they'll be getting a ton of pucks to the net. I will take the over on saves for both of those goalies, Shesterkin and Grubauer. And then looking at the players, I'm going to go back to that Jersey game and I'm going to go over three and a half shots on goal for Timo Meyer for a couple of reasons. First, like I told you, that that home team in their first game always seems to have a high shot total. Second, he's on the top power play. Third, he plays with Hughes, who's an unbelievable player, unbelievable distributor. I sound like Stephen A. Smith. Give me the over three and a half shots on goal for Timo Meyer. There's an old favorite. There's an old favorite on the menu tonight. If I see it, it's almost like a disease. I have to click it. Alex Kalorn under half of a point. If you watch my video, you know I believe that uh, Tampa Bay usually... They're game one underperformers on the road. We've seen this last season and a half. Well, last season when they had those road series, they seemed to struggle in game one. My only concern about betting the under under the Kalorn point this time around is he's nestled on that top power play. So I'm just worried one of those shots hit um, uh, with Sergachev, who works the point on that power play now, has one of the most deflectable shots in the game. So if he were to, if he was to screw you, it would probably be via the power play. But I got another option for you. I'm going to take the under half of a point for Mark Stone. First game back, hasn't played in a long time, bad back. And take him aside. You guys know I think this one is probably going to be a tightly checked game. I gave the under in the video earlier before. I mean, when you got Hellebuck on one side, which is reason enough to maybe bet the under on a player point prop. But I don't imagine Stone is going to have a ton of minutes. So when you couple that all together, I'm going to take the under on Stone in his first game back. If you looked at Barzal's first game back, and I got news for you, he's younger and way more spry than Mark Stone. He seemed to be off last night. And he wasn't able to register a point despite playing on that top line with Horvath. And I know different circumstances. They were on the road, blah, blah, blah. But I will still take the under half of a point for Mark Stone. And that's what I got for you here on this Tuesday as I try to take on the house. I'll be back with you on Thursday as we what? Take on the house once again. Make sure you're subscribed to the Odd Shopper channel here to check out this video, other NHA, NHA videos. 
my daily NHL video, all sorts of videos. I mean, what, what else do you got to do? You got games in a few hours. Check out some of those videos. Subscribe to the channel. You can come follow me on social media at Andy Francis. I believe there are free NHA materials over at stochastic.com. So check, check out all the stuff. What are you doing? It's Tuesday. Go check out some stuff and I'll see you on Thursday. Take it easy.